Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints. As you can tell, that sun is not shining through. Cloud cover's a little bit too thick. But hey, it's a good day for a walk down to the river. And it's a great day to think about what God is doing and what he is going to be doing in this day. So I want you to be encouraged today, Thursday morning, that uh, God is still on the throne. The world might be, uh, you know, a bit of a mess, but God's not, and his kingdom's not. So contemplating this morning, the word of God, and uh, popped on Romans chapter 12. And I was thinking again, you know, my wife and I, yeah, how do you get marriage out of Romans chapter 12? Well, when you're in much in love as I am, marriage kind of fits in everywhere. Anyways, Romans chapter 12, uh, talking about our relationship with God and us understanding who God is and what in the world God's doing. And I guess those are questions that people are asking nowadays. And you know what? My wife and I, after all these years, we've gotten to understand each other. Whether we fully agree or not is, you know, sometimes a little bit of a difference there, but then we're human. But you know what? We understand each other. I get it. I get when she says what she's saying. I might not always agree with her, but you know what? I get it. And it's kind of the same way with God. We, uh, if we hang out with him enough, if we spend enough time with him and, and get to really understand his heart and his purposes. Now, the difference is, of course, Don and I are equals, you know, both humans and whatever, and God is divine and I'm not. And so I need to bow my will to God's daily, constantly, all the time. But you know, in doing that, I begin to understand God by spending that time with him. And so when we turn to Romans chapter 12, and I've got it right here for you, I'm going to let you read it with me this morning real quick. And uh, here's what the Word of God says. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12, verse 2. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. Let that be your, your challenge today. But let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. You're going to get it. You'll get it. You'll, you'll begin to understand what God's will is. When you do not copy the behavior of the world and the customs, but let God transform you. And of course, we talked the other day about, you know, that transformation comes by the renewing of your mind. But uh, hey, you'll know what God's will is for you, the good, pleasing, and perfect will. God bless you, each one. Take this challenge and let's have an awesome kingdom day today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word, the transforming power of your spirit in our lives. Father, we surrender to you that we might know your will and find it good, acceptable, and perfect. Let it be. Thank you for today. Thank you for your kingdom that's coming and your will that is being done. We submit and surrender to it for your name's sake and for your glory. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you each one.